What up, this is DJ Spin So Nice, and this is a Spin So Nice radio video edition. I want to share with you an exciting moment. I'm gonna be unboxing uh, a new record that I got, which I've been waiting in the mail for about almost two months now. I've been patient because I was excited about this record. COVID-19 is slowing the mail down, so I was patient. I'm in the studio, I'm actually gonna do uh, a recording of and go live for the Spin So Nice radio show in a moment. But first, we're going to share a little bit. So this is a uh, this is the box here. Now I want to I want to create a little sense of anticipation. This record I got is uh, an album that I've been listening to all springtime. My wife put me onto it, and it's all about black celebration, black liberation, and a response to the black struggle. I don't know if uh, the killing of Ahmaud Arbery. Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, and all the other brothers and sisters that we've lost, if they hadn't been taken from us, this album might not have been produced. There's a bit of a mystery behind it. We'll get to that in a second, but it's, I want to just connect the music to uh, black struggle, African art celebration, and the legacy that it's all a part of. These records behind me, the music I make, it's all part of a legacy. So here we go. The drums. These were driven. These were given to me in Kenya on a visit back in the early '80s. I was about six years old. I still have these drums with me. Uh, the connection, people, to ancestors, celebrating our heritage all over the diaspora, starting from Africa, you know. But now, here we are. Um, I'm, I'm going to ramble a little bit. This is also. A remnant. This is the original Black Lives Matter poster that I got in Toronto at the, the protest that I went. It says from Toronto to Ferguson. This is when we were mourning the loss of Mike Brown and Jermaine Carby. We demand justice. And here we are today in 2020 still going through it. So let me link the al let me link the album right here. I'm gonna link it with Black Lives Matter. The album if you can see the little can you see the fist there? Enough with the mystery, you know, let's just get right into it. There's a little black fist there. Inspired, hold on, inspired by the movements that we've been going through. This is an original edition of the audio autobiography of Malcolm X. Let me correct myself. I don't know if it's an original edition, but this is the family copy, okay? This copy was, I stole it from uh, Reverend Adam Vinson back in uh, the 90s I don't think he realized because he it might even it might have been after he passed he was a a minister that I grew up with he was from Georgia but I I grew up with him in Windsor Ontario when he used to preach in Detroit uh, at the AME churches around Windsor and Detroit he used to preach also at a church called Tanner so shout out to them if uh, that church is still around look how crinkly it is look at the pages let me put it up to the lens here this book, uh, this is the this is the edition I read when I was a teenager. Uh, autobiography, okay? It's all part of a legacy of black struggle, black liberation, black celebration, who we are. Uh, this one here also, this is another ancestor. This is the uh, Sweet James Jones Pimp C life story. The reason I'm showing you this is because there's a connection, there's a life force that flows through um, all of our struggles, all of our stories, all of our celebration, all of our culture. This one here, we're getting into some books right now, but it's all connected. This is my Angela Davis. I bought this in the springtime. I haven't cracked this one yet. Look how crispy it is. I will. A couple other books I'll show you, but let's get to the record. What record is, am, I, am I talking about? What is it? What is it? Had the little black fist and the sticker. I'll show you what it is. I'm so excited. I want to give a shout out to my wife, Dana. Because she's the one that schooled me to the record. She has the best taste. And she'd just be on Spotify just playing the best music. And I'm like, what is that? What is that? What is that? And she's like, oh, that's salt. Pause for drama. Salt. Salt Global. From the UK. My wife schooled me to this record. Let me pause for the freeze frame. 
Salt Global. You need to download this album. You need to purchase this album. You need to go on Bandcamp and spend the $70 and buy this album. You need to listen to this album. You need to tell this album to your friends. You need to tell your friends about this album. You need to put this album in your DJ mixes. You need to listen to Spin So Nice Radio because I be playing this, these songs heavy on my radio show. <sighs> Take a breath. This album is the best album of the year. Got me through the whole pandemic. April, May, June, July, August. Damn. A little bit about this album. It's produced by Inflow. So it's a producer album. Uh, now there's a lot of um, R&B, hip hop, and funk, and samples from uh, the Black Panther era, and monologues too about blackness. If you think about you know, the Beyonce, Black is King album, kind of that kind of wavelength. Amazing beats, amazing vocals, uh, by a lot of different artists, all in celebration of black resistance to violence and black existence, beauty, and recognition of who we are. I think that's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to listen, I'm going to be playing uh, my radio show. I'm going to mix in, so this is this is the brand new one. This is my sealed copy. Expensive, but I'm proud of it. I'll probably buy a couple more copies as, you know, the years go on. And I want to connect with Mr. Inflow, bring him to Toronto, do a show, and just do as much as I can to support this music and this movement and this feeling that I got from this music. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna stop talking right now because Spin So Nice Radio is about to be recorded and this edition is a celebration of Salt Global because I got a bunch of other records I'm gonna mix in with the album because I'm all about connecting with the ancestors and with the vitality that came from the continent many, many years ago and still flows through us now. Woo! It's been so nice radio. Salute. Thank you, Salt Global. I'm so excited about this record. Check me out at Spin So Nice on Instagram, every web, Twitter. Listen to this album.